Nobody likes to look like a complete idiot promoting their services to someone who is completely unqualified. So today I wanted to share some simple strategies to help you qualify your prospects when you just simply can't tell by looking at their profiles. All right, let's launch straight into it. So when we're trying to qualify prospects on LinkedIn, there's obviously the primary method that we're gonna be using is by targeting. So if we go onto LinkedIn just real quickly, you head into Sales Navigator, we build a search, and we're gonna qualify as much as possible by getting the targeting right. We're looking at things like industry. You can do some interest, cool things even by looking at the types of technologies companies use if you look at their account search. I've done countless videos uh, on targeting and how to complete tutorials and how to use Sales Navigator, LinkedIn Free Search. Um, that goes into a lot of detail around how to qualify based on the professional characteristics, the companies, the industries, all that kind of stuff. So this is gonna be the primary method. If we're gonna reach out to people, um, and promote what we do, try and get them onto sales calls. As much as possible, we're gonna try and reach out to people who are qualified through our targeting. But you can't always tell if they're qualified simply by this the targeting that's available on LinkedIn. There's instances where, well, of course, you don't know if people are actually having the issue that you solve. So you don't know, A, if there is an actual need. So you need to qualify based on the actual need or whether that you feel they're um, qualified for your service, they have the right attitude. So you can, so there's that first way to qualify, the thing we don't know. And the other one where people really struggle is where you need to classify them further depending on, like let's say for example, you sell something to a service to someone who uses uh, a software platform, let's say zero, but you can't tell through LinkedIn whether or not they're using Xero. And so you need to find out whether they use Xero, whether they use a different platform or whether they're using nothing at all, which is gonna determine which next message you send to classify them further and to tell you what thing you're gonna promote or what thing you're gonna suggest. So there's a couple of strategies I wanted to share, things that we use to help us limit the number of responses, make sure that we're you know, not coming across as idiots on LinkedIn and gonna help us qualify further. And then in a way that helps us direct that quickly to a phone call as well. So one thing we use is to qualify need is rather than saying, hey, this is what we do, book a call with us. We try not to tell people to book a call with us until we know they're qualified. So we say things like, um, obviously the connection message tells us people what we do, what we're good at, we have the money back guarantee, we're in lead gen, if it's of interest, connect. And then when we connect, we say rather than sending unwanted messages, is this something that's of interest? And that's it. And then yes, okay, yes. Well, if it's of interest, how about this? How about that? Do you wanna jump on a call? So that's one simple strategy to qualify if there's the actual need. But where people, like I said, most people struggle with qualifying, you know, if they're using certain software or, um, yeah, that's it. Well, that's probably the key example. So I want to share one way that you can ask probing or qualifying questions. And then depending on the question answer, you can then direct that through to a call. So here's this, uh, a bit of a structure we use. Lots of, you know, lots of blanks, um, obviously. So hi, John, thanks for connecting. Let me know if I can assist in a way. My name is Ryan and this is what we're specialized in. So I've done, like I said, I've done lots of, done lots of videos on how to structure these messages. This isn't about that. This is around the actual probing question component. You know, then I like to lead into, hey, if you're happy to share, I'd be curious to know if you currently, go back to our original example, are using the Xero software to manage your um, accounting. And it can be as simple as that. Now, depending on, now you're gonna wanna have three responses for that. You're gonna want a yes, they're using it, a no, they're not using it, or a, some other response, they're not using it, they're not sure what it is. And you wanna make sure well, A, if they're not using it and you have a service, you wanna try and promote that to a call. If they're not using it and you still feel you can help them by like suggesting they use it and you wanna direct it to a call, you can. If not, then just say, no worries, thank you for sharing, greatly appreciated, um, and same with the other one. But if all three answers um, could still be potential clients, but just have a, has a different way you suggest and promote that to a call, then this is how you go about that. So first one is, they're using the thing or they use that service or they use that product. Oh, great to hear, John. That's definitely what we would recommend. Haha, you don't have to say it like that, but that just to have a bit of character helps. How do you find the platform? I've been working with 
this platform for this many years and I still am learning useful, amazing things. Would you be open to a, a virtual meeting and coffee? It'd be great to show you some of the new useful features we've used to help other companies like yourself. Um, no obligation, of course. So if we just sent that message initially before we even knew if they had it, it would, yeah, we'd look like an idiot. So ask that probing question, get the answer, and then we can promote it. Let's say they're not using the software that we asked about. Thanks for sharing. How do you find operating without you know, zero or accounting software or whatever it is. Would you be open to a quick virtual coffee or a chat sometime? It'd be great to share some ideas that we've used to help other companies like you, um, you know, set up this software, save time, promote the actual value. And then they're using, and then the other response is they're using some other type of software, some other type of service to what you suggested, or they're just not sure what you're talking about. All right, thanks for sharing, John. How do you find, you know, the thing that you're using? Would you be open to quick coffee or a virtual chat? It'd be great to share some ideas we've, um, we've used to help other companies like yours by using the thing that you use. No obligation, let me know if you're interested. So you can see we have a response depending on each of the different ways people answer. And this is just, I mean, this is very general because it really depends, but this will help you further qualify your, your prospects. And the messages are far more effective because they're more tailored to the specific qualification that they fit. So I hope that's helpful. This is obviously very general, but um, hopefully that gets you thinking, okay, this is how we can go about qualifying. We, we ask them a question and depending on how they answer, we've got a number of different an um, answers to that question and all of them can lead towards a call depending on which one we need to direct towards a call. Any questions or if you have any other strategies or ideas that you use to help qualify prospects or external tools and platforms, I'd love to hear it. Pop it in the comments below. Hope that was helpful. As always, Brian Caswell from B2Bleads.com. Have a great day.